everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Katie and I'm here today with Charlie and a couple of my babies. And we would like to welcome you to our little Saturday afternoon chat. Uh, <clears throat> I dressed the babies prior uh, to making this video because I have a couple of things that I want to talk about. And I also want to finish my coffee and I thought, okay, this will be just easier. So, uh, first baby I'm, I'm going to show you, this is, is my Evie. Evie is <laughs> Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. She is a prototype number three made by Alicia Rodriguez. And <laughs> she is my pride and joy, this baby. I have been still like, I, since the day I got this baby, I have been really, truly enjoying her. <clears throat> and yeah, so she is, I, I, have her out in her little bassinet here and it has been a gorgeous gorgeous weather except of yesterday when we had uh, a horrendous thunderstorm but today has been really sunny uh, and humid it's super beautiful super hot and super humid here in Illinois so that's why she is wearing her little tank top lace knit onesie I'm going to zoom a little bit on her and you can see uh, she also has her front body plate which kind of like allows me to put these kind of outfits on her and I love these plates because uh, as I said they are offering like uh, opportunity to use wider variety of clothing on, on our dolls so yeah that's her She's in her little bassinet and I'm going to like a little bit rock her here. Um, um, what I'm going to talk about is transparency in this hobby. And uh, this little chat is based on, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, is based on one of the comments. I have a couple of new subscribers. So thank you so much, ladies, for watching my videos, for binge watching even my older videos. And I got this comment. It was... Uh, about a week ago, I wanted to make this video forever, but there was always something, so I finally got to it. And this uh, new subscriber and new, new collector, she was wondering if it's the sign of shadiness or how transparent or slash non-transparent the sale is when the artist or a seller, if they don't put the price right there in a listing. So, you know, I've talked about this few times, but I'm going to answer her question. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to say, uh, because I have seen this, it, this is not a new trend uh, in private groups where I'm, um, I'm, I'm not talking about YouTube where everyone is in everyone's business. I'm talking about um, collector's circles when uh, kind of like privacy and... Uh, yeah, the privacy is very, very highly respected. So um, I just want to say there is nothing, nothing shady. Well, ladies, don't worry. When you see these kind of transactions, even if it's a prototype artist, um, don't be afraid to ask. If there is the baby advertised as available. Now, uh, well, I always say I have been selling on eBay for now. It's going to be, oh my gosh, like 17 years now. I'm going on 17 years. I had a couple of stores. I'm not very active on eBay anymore. I closed my stores because the fees are just going, it's just not fun anymore. Uh, and I've been just too busy for that. But I, as a seller in general, I, I will tell you, read the description. Uh, description is everything. So if it says the doll is available, please private message me. Don't be afraid to private message. I can guarantee you that every seller out there who is advertising uh, their babies for sale and they don't put the price right up there <clears throat> for everyone to see. They're expecting people to message them and they will absolutely do not be bothered and they will not think that you're a time waster. Now people say, well, I just, I just don't think this is a very, there is no transparency and why people just don't say how much is the doll. It's basically like, uh, not only to say how much the doll is, but also to know how much your other collect fellow collectors are paying for their dolls. And I will tell you, um, 
I, as a collector, I don't want to know people how much I pay for my dolls. On a couple of my box openings or my videos, I received, you know, I received a good, oh, and it, all types of comments throughout the years. I have been here on YouTube and it's normal. I, it, I'm not even bothered by it, but I will tell you, people will ask um, the more, the most private and personal things. You don't talk about money. You don't talk about how much people pay. You don't talk about how much people make. Uh, it's just rude, okay? And I, every time some, someone says, I don't understand why they don't say why, how much they pay for their dolls. Uh, my answer would be, I don't understand what kind of family are you coming from? Was it normal for people just to come and to ask anyone in your family, how much are you, are you making? Okay, so what's your salary? I want to know. None of your business. That's all I say. I don't get upset. I don't get anything. It's none of their business. And I just can't believe that in this age, someone would be so rude and obnoxious demanding to know how much other people paid for their dolls. I don't care, okay? Uh, as I said, beauty is in the eye of beholder. Sometimes we see, usually what do we, we, what do we know how much these dolls are, are the prototypes that are being auctioned publicly on eBay, like Alexa Calvo's prototypes, Bianca Franquez, and uh, numerous other prototype artists who have, or Jacqueline Kramer, or, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I forgot, uh, Angela Plikas, they're pretty uh, public about their prototypes and they're auctioning them publicly. So usually the whole <laughs> village is watching these auctions and then uh, people love to make videos about it. Okay, this doll sold, guess what? Someone bought this doll for 10,000 or someone bought this doll for 7,000. And I know a couple of these people who are buying these dolls, who are paying these prices like uh, personally. One of them, like, really closely. And I will tell you, it's, the, well, yeah, she's, she, you know, it's not very pleasant when people make these videos, but quite honestly, as I said, you know, if someone is willing to pay that money, uh, that's their business. Would I pay that money? No. Do I judge them? No. Do I want to know how much other people are paying for the dolls? No. Unless the transaction is actively including me, uh, I don't care. And I can tell you as a seller, I don't uh, sell a lot of my dolls. I'm a private collector. I'm not an artist, but I do sell my dolls. I've sold a lot of dolls throughout the years. And I will tell you <clears throat> uh, how I sell them. Uh, either I have the list of people who contacted me and who are very interested in a doll and they asked me, okay, if you're going to sell the doll, uh, could you please let me know? And I know a lot of my friends actually have uh, these lists, even for their babies. So, uh, yeah, first, there are people on the list or people who have been um, actively asking about the doll. And then, or I will post it on my private Instagram. And I usually, if the doll is over a certain amount, <clears throat> I don't post it the price openly. And I have to tell you, uh, last two or three of my buyers actually thanked me for respecting their privacy and for keeping their investment private because, you know, there are certain people who love to monitor uh, how much people pay and how much uh, they sell their dolls for. And as I said, it's nobody's business, quite honestly, ladies. And I don't care if they say, okay, but it should be uh, public. No, it shouldn't. Uh, I think, you know, unless it's, you are interested in buying that doll, that doll and there's something going on in that transaction that you, you're not liking, that's another story. But if you are not interested in a doll, you don't want to buy that doll, uh, uh, it's like, what is it to you? <laughs> okay, and here I have my little Julianne, uh, which is Ramsey by Cassie Brace, and there is my Tio uh, and Tio is Lani by Olga Auer and they are both wearing their little summer rompers here and uh, Tio is wearing his little farmer's romper. Let me show you this thing by Joanna's Creations and I've had this romper for a long, long time. I had it done for Julianne, but I thought it, uh, it actually fits uh, Tio much, much better. It has little farm animals and let me show you the back. It's 
like cross a little closure here. Hi aunties and uncles and my lamp is probably washing him out but yeah so that's my little Theo and here is my Julian he wears a little bubble romper by Melissa she made it for us uh, uh, and I was waiting for summer to come to put all these rompers on them so so uh, where was I yeah I was talking about uh, ladies are not liking um, one of the issues that ladies had with these listings when you can see the price when they uh, the seller is asking to contact them privately ladies felt like okay I don't want to bother or I don't want to go and private message the seller uh, if I don't see the price I would like to see the price prior so I can decide is this in my budget or not am I going to proceed with private messaging or not uh, if what if I message the seller and I, then I learn that baby is out of my price range and they will call me a time waster I can assure you ladies and gentlemen nobody will call you a time waster if they don't advertise the price uh, they are expecting every seller is expecting people to contact them and even even if you say okay uh, this baby is out of my price range nobody is going to call you a time waster just because you're not going to buy it at all because of whatever reason uh, I as a seller I'm always welcoming the questions as I said more questions the better I just want to assure to be assured that my buyer knows all the terms they know all the details they know what they're buying they feel comfortable spending that kind of money and there will not be any issues uh, afterwards you know if you go and if you jump at the sale and you just buy it all without asking any questions uh, that's not good uh, especially when you're buying certain kind of a doll for a certain kind of a in, in a certain kind of a price range I always say just ask the questions ha give the seller opportunity to present what they're selling don't do it like hastily um, and also don't feel bad for saying yeah okay I'm so sorry I, I really love the doll but it's just I'm not going to spend this kind of money it's uh, right now I can't or um, this is not exactly the scalp that I would pay that money I was kind of hoping it would be lower you don't have to explain yourself it's fine I can assure you there uh, are a lot of buyers who are messaging so you don't feel you don't have to feel like okay I'm sticking out there like a sore thumb and I can tell you usually uh, out of all the messages I know statistically only there is only 10 percent of true potential buyers for every doll and yeah i'm uh, i'm i i just love to talk in numbers because i'm an engineer and it, it's always i always do look at statistics even when pricing my dolls i look at the current stage of market um i look at artist work what is currently worth what's uh the artistry are there any flaws on a doll or not uh what is the demand uh, is this a rare sculpt uh, etc etc so, so and I can tell you out of all people who will message there is about as I said 10% of potential buyers and artists or sellers respond to numerous inquiries per day or per sale so don't be worried ladies and you know if people don't want to message or you you just you feel like okay I don't want to go around and messaging about all these dolls and all these artists maybe it's just not the doll for you because if I really truly want the baby and uh, I see a gorgeous baby and it's from the artist I want and it's a sculpt I want or it's just tugging on my heart strings or it's it's the sculpt that I have been planning on or even if it's emotional thing if I truly want the baby I have no problem messaging and if you feel like okay I, I kind of I don't feel like messaging maybe it's not the baby for you maybe you know so that's that's just something that I wanted to talk about uh, to all new ladies out there not to be afraid uh, if you have the questions don't uh, feel funky asking but then um, 
there was this one thing and I think it was Jacqueline Kramer was it last year uh, <clears throat> she posted something I, I think it was her some new collector approached her and they accused her they, they said and, and they even posted her listing in scammers group asking is this artist a real deal uh, because they're not advertising their price openly and is this uh, I, it, does anyone know her work and there was like this master Ayora prototype artist someone who has been around for years uh, being questioned in scammers group so you know that's that's quite like uh, <laughs> just uh, all I have to say do your research and you know ask questions but um uh, like reasonable questions okay you just <laughs> i don't know how to say this but i just wanted to mention it because i found it completely hilarious and like uh one of those icky moments when you feel embarrassed for uh that person just asking i mean yeah so that was just kind of like like anecdotal thing so anyways um I think I've covered it pretty much. If you have any questions uh, about this, please feel free to comment. As I said, I hope I didn't want to alienate anyone. I just truly think that uh, other people's finances and how much they spend, it's nobody's business. And I've always been saying this. I've never took interest in what other people are paying for their for their dolls because I, the only person I am focused on collecting is myself and I try to determine every year okay how much what will be my budget am I going to stick with my budget or um, maybe I will I kind of like increase it and just thinking where I want to go with this hobby um, with my babies and with collecting and how much I have been recently really like pondering and oh my gosh I have been trying to determine uh, which babies to let go because I have babies coming and I have been admiring a couple of new artists I would love to see their work I just can't have so many dolls so I've been trying to kind of like wait in uh, between okay between uh, do I want to see their work uh, enough for me to sell the dolls that I have or the babies that I love and a lot of people say well don't do it don't do it but I just can't I can't I I lose my joy when I feel overwhelmed the same with baby clothes so I've been kind of, kind of like trying to determine which babies I would be able to let go at this point and also going through my baby clothing which my baby storage is just a mayhem I was actually pondering of taking you over there and showing you which I may do tomorrow uh, when I kind of like determine uh, what I'm going to do with all those baby clothes but yeah so that's what I've been doing I hope okay so so that's something that I have been pondering and there would be probably it for today ladies and gentlemen uh, hopefully I kind of covered everything if you have any additional questions please don't hesitate to ask down below in the comments I uh, will have the live stream hopefully next week and I will be able to maybe answer any additional questions or concerns so yeah everyone thank you so much for being here please stay safe uh stay healthy i know that the virus cases are increasing again it's climb the numbers are climbing up so please stay safe and hopefully i will see you tomorrow and also the next week during the live stream stay safe stay healthy and have a wonderful rest of your saturday bye